Um, this is Sol Impulse Mission Control. Um, let's give it another try of the connection between yeah. Sir Richard I can Cranston hear you breathing, but I can't hear you. So let's talk. Hello, Richard. It's Bertrand in Solar Impulse. I'm told you are online. Do you hear me? Hi, Bertrand. It's Richard. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you, Bertrand, but can you hear me? Um, Bertrand, for your information, on the split screen we see Richard talking, so he might get your voice signal, but uh, somehow the uplink to you and to us Hello, is not Bertrand, working. can you hear me? Yes, Richard, yes, I, I hear you. I was told that you are on the split screen with me and your voice was not coming, but now I hear you. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> hey, how are you? Well, it's a feeling that you know because you have personally made also this type of adventures, especially when you trust the Atlantic as the first one in a hotel balloon. You know this feeling of accomplishing something that we dream since so long. And for me being completing the first Atlantic crossing with a solar airplane is something that fulfills me, you can imagine. It's, um, it, it's absolutely extraordinary. And, um, and it's, I know how many years this is taking you to get this far. So, and, and it sounds like you're just a few hours away from the finish. Um, yes, absolutely. It's a hard work, but it's worth it. It's worth it. And, uh, I'm so happy to speak to you right now because you are a friend, you are also an explorer, and you are one of the patrons of the Future is Clean initiative. And this is also what brings us together, the wish to have cleaner world and cleaner modes of transport, and what you do also with your airline and your Virgin Galactic adventure is something fantastic. Maybe you can speak a little bit about this. It will make everybody very interested. <laughs> um, well, I mean, obviously, w what you're doing is, is uh, extraordinary. It's pioneering um, clean energy uh, and it's pioneering uh, solar energy. And I think, you know, what, what you know, after the COP21 talks in Paris, uh, we've got to make sure governments get to a world that, it, that, that, that is carbon neutral by 2050. And I think it's, it's uh, uh, events like uh, Solar Impulse that, that are lead, leading the way. And, um, and once you've landed and been successful, then all of us can work together to make sure that uh, our grandchildren, great-grandchildren live in a, in a beautiful world just powered by the sun. Um, as your plane is, and, and by the wind and other natural, natural resources. Yes, you are absolutely right. The, the technology to be carbon neutral in our world exists. They are profitable. But now it's a question of state of mind to bring them to everybody. And not everybody is happy to jump into another world. Some people make so much resistance, and we have to motivate everybody to do that jump into the clean technologies. That's what I try with Solar Impulse. That's what you try also with Virgin Galactic, with Virgin Atlantic. I think we, what we miss in the world is to have everybody together, really, everybody together, pulling at the same rope, making meetings together, bringing heads of state into the responsibility. And uh, today, we have announced uh, with Andre Borsberg and myself that we will launch the International Committee for Clean Technology. So I will be extremely happy and honored if you would join us also to bring more specialists to, together. Well, it, go, it goes without saying that we'd uh, be delighted to join you. And um, it's incredible that uh, when, you're, when you're flying a plane 
across the Atlantic, you can start thinking about the, fu the future in this way, in such a positive way, so, and, and especially with an oxygen mask in, on your mouth. So uh, a lot of respect, as always. Uh, thank you, Richard. Thank you, and then, uh, well, the future can be fantastic if we have the yes, pioneering spirit in that exploration. You show the example. You show also the example, and this is why I'm, I'm so happy to have you on the line. And I'm sure that all the people who follow Solar Impulse will be also happy to see this, this friendship we have together since the time we were belonging to, together. That was also a great time. Uh, it, it, it was indeed. It's a long time, it's a long time ago, but it, uh, lots, of, lots of great memories. And uh, I'm slightly jealous that um, I'm not sitting, sitting in, the, in, the, in the seat there with you, but, um, um, but I don't think there's room for two. So. Um, anyway, have a very, very, very safe uh, rest of the crossing. Um, maybe you could just end up, you know, to, uh, tomorrow uh, Britain uh, votes about the European Union. Um, I've been out campaigning because I think uh, we need to be you know, as much one, one world, one nation as possible. Um, and uh, and I'm just hoping that, uh, uh, that Europe stays together because I think it's, it's avoided conflict, it's, it's avoided war. We trade together, we live together, we, we have fun together. Um, and you may not want to get involved in politics, but one, one word from you would be good if you, if you agree with me. Yes, and you know, the politicians don't realize that they have a role that is much more important than they think today. Because in the past, we had people discovering new continents, new countries. They were exploring North Pole, South Pole, or the Moon. And then we had technology people who brought solutions. But now the politicians, it is their role to make a better world. They have to look further than their re-election. They have to be above the conflicts and above the resistance in our society. So if they do really their own, they will be remembered in history as much as the explorers and the heroes of adventure. I hope they will understand that, because we need them to be real heads of state and not just local politicians trying to be re-elected. Well, uh, your, your words are beautiful, and I'm not going to, um, uh, I'm not going to say anything, anything further. And I would love to leave the discussion uh, uh, based on your beautiful words. So uh, travel safely and, um, and, and keep well, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you, Richard. Thank you very much for your friendship, and I love that moment talking to you on the solar airplane across the Atlantic. It's yes. also yes. your ocean, the Atlantic. You know it well. Bye bye. Thank bye. you very much. Cheers. I hope the weather's kind when you land. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Very cool. I like him very much. He's a real entrepreneur, explorer. He always tries new things. He, he's, he's really great. Really a great guy.